recently see a Connect started supporting the Azure IoT Central and the Azure Device Provisioning Service. But exactly how easy is it getting your data into the Azure IoT Central? Let's take a look at that. On my instances, I already have created a, a Siemens S7-1200 PLC with a few tags in it. And on my IoT Central, I have a custom app where I have a brand new device. There's nothing in this device, it is uh, completely newly created. So to connect to this device, we click on the connect, navigate back to see a connect, choose the Azure IoT Hub connector. You can name this anything you'd like. In the address field, we take the primary key, and just copy it here, input that. For the provisioning, we choose the IoT Central. For ID scope and device ID, we have those up here. We'll take one of each. And we'll save the instance. Now, if we never get into the IoT Central instance, we have some newly created, these are, these are created by the um, by C Connect itself. If we choose the device to cloud item, what we're going to do is build an input template that will uh, that will wrap any data that we send to the RT Central into, into a payload and attach some metadata to it. So we're going to build our payload ourselves. We will have the value. Now this is a CS scripting variable and will take the value of whatever it is we're sending here. But of course we will also need some metadata. So we will choose a timestamp and remember to wrap your timestamp in Quotation marks, otherwise it won't work. And we simply choose the value dot time. This variable is a timestamp connected to the value variable and will show you the time in which the value has been read. So we close here. We save this item. Let's create a mapping. From the S7-1200, we'll choose the RPM. The receiver, we'll choose the Azure IoT Central and the device to cloud item. Leave the custom value empty. And we will save that mapping. Let's monitor the raw data. And as you can see, we are getting a whole bunch of telemetry. If we just unwrap one of these, we can see the entire payload that we just created. We can see the actual raw value of it, and we can see the timestamp. This is in UTC. This is the timestamp that is uh, connected to that. As we see here, we didn't get a whole bunch of messages in. So it really is that quick and easy to stream your data from a PLC into the Azure IoT Central using the Azure Device Provisioning Service and SIA Connect.